Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Four years apart with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Beijing, China, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect well, yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He loaded up 
there on that high kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, what a punch. Knee to the body. Oh! Oh! Under two minutes now to go in round one. Misses with the straight right. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Round two straight ahead. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Just misses with the kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keeping busy, doing great work. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big head kick. Attempt there is blocked. Whoa! Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Wow, what a head kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Whiffs on that offering. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice kick. Ten minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful leg kick throw. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Hey. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! Big Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Big kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Head kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, big punch land. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Check on the leg kick offering there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Liver kick. Just missing on the counter there. to the championship round. Great work last round. You knocked him down. You shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to see. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip, for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice slip to avoid the left. Get him, get him. 
straight punch lands. It's such a fast leg kick. Back and forth we go here. As the celebration continues, a huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce Montreal-Lee! There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure to.